Last time I gave you an equation like this, and I said, um, here's an algebraic equation. Now what I'd like you to do is go ahead and, or here's the algebraic equation that we used to graph. So now let's go back to a little bit of review. If I say 3x plus 4y equals 12, and um, eh, I don't want to do it that way. Let me do a switch. Let me do a different equation. If I say y equals 3x plus 5, and I say find the inverse. So if you remember the inverse, you remember something. Do you remember the first step when we were given an equation, how you can find the inverse algebraically? First step. You switch just the x and the y's, right? You say x now equals 3y plus 5, right? Swap the x and y. Then what do you do? You then you just solve for your variable y. So to solve for y, you have to use inverse operations. What am I doing? I stop solving for y and put it back over. Divide by 3. Does everybody see that? OK? So now what I have done is I've taken x minus 5 divided by 3. So y equals x minus 5 divided by 3. And what I did is I applied my inverse operations. So ladies and gentlemen, if I give you an exponential form, I, or I'm sorry, exponential equation, and I say find the inverse, what do you think the first step is going to be? Swap the x and the y's. Hmm. So now, what's the inverse operation? We know that the inverse operation of addition is subtraction. The inverse operation of uh, multiplication is division, right? The inverse operation of squaring is square root, right? We could go through all the whole list. But what is the inverse operation now when I have b raised to a variable? How am I, what am I, who am I, what am I going to do with that, right? So what we've been able to do is this is like repeated. Our variable is repeated multiplication. So what we're able to do is come up with a logarithm and we uh, come up with a logarithmic form. And logarithmic form, this is what we call exponential form, which we know. So what we did is we rewrite this as solve for y. I can write this in logarithmic form, which is y equals log base b of x. So that's what we call logarithmic form. And you guys are going to have to know how to go between logarithmic and exponential. All right? So.